What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Southampton FIFA 16 career mode. Last time out you saw us get our first Champions League win thanks to that moment of magic from youngster Emilio Vilna coming off the bench scoring that late goal. Very much a Premier League focused episode today. We're going to be taking on Swansea and Liverpool. Two tough games. We're level on points at the top of the table with Stoke. We need to pull away. So you can see today Swansea lining up in a 4-4-1-1 formation. Going to be tough to break down. They've got some good players as well in their Andre AU definitely one to watch out for. We are sticking with a 4-3-3 for this one. Um, no major, nothing major to shout about in the lineup. No real surprises. Very much back to a strong lineup. The bench is very good as well. Lots of options to bring on if the game is not going our way. Swansea coming forward. Here's a chance for Taylor to put the ball into the box. He has done. Trap does well to punch it clear. There's the header from Andre Ayew, but goes wide. Tries to turn Van Dijk. He's got a bit fortunate, but he's kept possession. Ball is cleared away by Subotic. Only as far as Jack Cork, though. Andre Ayew coming back in with it here. It's touched on. Chance from Montero. Really, really good stop from Trap. So, set piece here for Swansea. Chance to put the ball in, which they have done. Header on goal is a good one from probably the smallest player on the pitch. Jefferson Montero. It was accurate. Not a great deal of power on the header, but... It was a free header, and at this level, you will be punished for that. It was a good delivery from Cork. Ball played in. There's the header look. Curling away from Trap. 1-0 down. Corner delivered by Carrasco. There's the header down. Cleared away by Key right in front of his goalkeeper. The attack is still alive, though. If we can force a chance here. Villalba's going to hit one, and hit one he does. Hector Villalba, that is a beauty. We done well to keep the attack alive. Took a lot of persistence here. The ball was bouncing around a bit, but Villalba took a touch to set himself, and then bang. That is a beauty. Absolutely no chance for Fabianski. Look at that right in the bottom corner. 1-1. One, one. Being patient in their build-up. Jack Cork brings the ball. That's a really good reverse pass, actually. To find Lucas. Puts the ball into the area. Subotic will deal with it, I think. In fact, he's just giving it straight back to Jefferson Montero. Swansea working the opportunity here. And Seferovic... Fires them back in front. Awful, awful defending. What's Subotic doing there, look? Aimless pass. Put us in trouble. And then they just move the ball quickly. Good finish. Here's Tolisso. He's going to look for Higuain. He finds him as well. Gonzalo Higuain holds the ball up well. Ward-Prowse onto Valalba. Takes a touch. Hits one again. So close. James Ward-Prowse. Can we get level before half-time? Here's Casemiro. Looking for the run of Hector Villalba. If his touch is good, which it is, we might have a chance here. Hector Villalba is saved by Fabianski and the ball just doesn't fall into the path of Gonzalo Higuain who was following up. There you go, half-time whistle's gone. We're going to go in at the break, one down. It's our own fault. Two sloppy goals, one from a set piece and one where we just failed to clear our lines. Swansea, they've been good, they've been solid. It's, they're hard to break down. Hopefully in the second half we need to find two goals because we need three points from these games, not one. Casemiro. Finds Hector Villalba. Can he beat his man? Yes, he can. Is he quick enough? Is he strong enough to keep possession? Strong enough to get the ball in. Higuain looks to go up for it. It's punched away by Fabianski. Danger. Still not cleared. Ward Prowse on the turn. Good save from the keeper. Oh, good pressure from Carrasco. Has won that ball back for us. Higuain has made a run through the middle. Has he played that ball too early? No, he hasn't. Higuain's done brilliantly. Can he finish? Of course he can. It's what Higuain does best. That's what we paid the money for, as I keep saying. 37.5 million gets you goals. Credit to Carrasco, and that was a perfectly weighted pass. Thought he might have played it too early, but Higuain does the rest absolutely superbly. To Villalba here in possession. Knocks it on ahead of him to Lopez, and Higuain has made a run. I'm going to hit that first time because he's isolated. Oh my word, that was curling at a rapid rate. May well have ended up in the bottom corner if it wasn't for that save from Fabianski. Just looking at the replay of that shot, I think it would have ended up in if Fabianski wasn't there to pull that save off. You can see it was curling round, would have gone in the top corner, not the bottom, but that would have been an unbelievable strike. Double change then, Emilio Vilna coming on along with Thorgan Hazard. They replaced Tolisso and Carrasco as we go in search of a winner. Swansea coming forward in search of a winner of their own here. Lucas in possession. Holds off his man, finds Ayu, back to Lucas. Ivan Lopez with the interception, but he's been knocked off the ball. Danger has gone. Awful finish. Swansea coming forward here, looking for a winner of their own. And Wayne Routledge comes close, actually, with an effort from the edge of the box. Far too much space for him. We got caught over committing. We've got to be careful of that. So we are deep, deep into stoppage time here. Are we going to get another opportunity? Absolutely not. Full-time whistle's gone. The game's ended all square. 
probably was a fair result on reflection of the game, but these kind of fixtures are ones that we need to win. So we've got a really tough test now as we take on Liverpool here at St Mary. Sticking with the 4-3-3, Schürrle gets given a rare opportunity. Deli Ali will also come into the midfield. Cedric returns to the lineup. Other than that, pretty much as you were. Um, Liverpool, on the other hand, they've got a very, very good squad. It'll be interesting to see what sort of formation they've put out here. They've gone with a 4-4-1-1. A lot of teams playing that against us this year. You can see Christian Eriksen playing behind Daniel Sturridge is a particular area of concern. They've obviously got Benteke and Firmino on the bench as well. Adam Lallana, another player, knows all about this ground very well that we're going to need to watch out for. Ryan Bertrand in a bit of space here. Oh, he's cut inside well, Bertrand. Hasn't got a lot of support, though. He's done very well here, Ryan Bertrand. Gets a shot away as well. Mignolo wasn't expecting that. And he beats the ball away. Ward-Prowse wins possession in the midfield. Finds Andre Sherlock. He goes past Klein quite easily. He's got a chance here to pull the trigger, Sherlock. Has done left-footed. Mignolet turns it behind. Ryan Bertrand knocks it inside to Deli Ali. Can he take the ball past his man? Yes, he can. He's got a lot of space here, Ali. Higuain making a run. Needs to beat his man. He has done Higuain. He hasn't really got the pace, but he's got a good shot away. Mignolet turns it behind again. Corner driven to the edge of the box. Subotic flicks it on. Ali knocks it down for Conte to hit. Mignolet saves and it's not in the path of Gonzalo Higuain. So he can't touch in the rebound and Liverpool play their way out of danger very calmly. Deli Ali in possession. He's had quite a good start to this game so far. Got a lot of space. Looking for the run of Higuain. That's a great ball. Can he get there, Higuain? Beats defender and Mignolet to the ball. But it's another good save from the Belgian keeper. Oh, ball is played through. Sturridge is the wrong side of his man here. Oh, brilliant turn from Daniel Sturridge. Thought that was we were going to be punished there. Decent save from Trapp. The finish wasn't his greatest, but that turn completely sold everybody. Ryan Bertrand in to Conte. What can he do with it? Looks to find Cedric. Has done. He's going to hit this Cedric. Why not? Oh, what an effort. Another, another top save from Mignolet. Corner delivered by Schurla. Mignolet comes. Gets nowhere near it. Can Higuain force it in? No, he can't. Danger is not cleared. Ward-Prowse with the volley. It's another good save. What is Ibe doing? Eventually smashes it clear. How many more chances can we have in this first half? So, half-time whistle goes. Still nil-nil somehow. Probably thanks to Simon Mignolet. Other than that Daniel Sturridge chance, Liverpool have had nothing. Oh, good interception from Van Dijk. We could be away here. Higuain has made a good run. Van Dijk's played him in. He's got Alderweireld for company. Well, he did have Higuain bearing down on goal. Oh, my God. Unlike him to not even hit the target from there. Mignolet's been good, so I just tried to drill it past him. Inches wide, but that doesn't matter. He's missed. Liverpool coming forward. James Milner picks out Markovic. Picks out Sturridge. Trap was alert. Got just enough on it. Danger not quite cleared though yet. Yes, he is now. Looks to go to his right. Deli Ali is making forward strides. Finds Villalba. We've got men in the middle here. Can Villalba pick out a decent cross? He can. Higuain's at the back post. Couldn't direct his header on target. Ah, oh, Cedric, that's poor. That's very poor. Sturridge in possession. Drills it in. Ericsson, oh my word. Point blank reaction save from Trap. Was unbelievable. All come from our own error on the right hand side at the back. As most opposition goals do. But that is a top, top save. So, double change happening in this game. Deli Ali and Andre Scherler going off. They will be replaced by Tolisso and Carrasco. Need to find that breakthrough. He's going to go back inside to Higuain. Finds Carrasco. Good ball from Carrasco to find Villalba. Need to get a shot off here. Villalba squares it. Ward-Prowse. Good move. The final effort on goal, though, really wasn't worthy of the build-up. Oh, wow. Wow. Liverpool, of course, on the break here. Christian Eriksen... Tried to reverse it back through to Sturridge. Cedric done absolutely brilliantly. He's got Carrasco on the left. Here he is, Yannick Carrasco. Can he beat his man? Yes, he can. He's going to lay it off inside to Tolisso. He's going to let fly. Mignolet again. Just a couple of minutes remaining. Here's Tolisso. That's actually a very good ball to find James Ward-Prowse. Wow, he's been brought down. We've got an opportunity here with two minutes left. I'm letting Carrasco take it. He scored a free kick on his debut. Can he do it again here? Oh! How unlucky can you get? It's hit the bar. Need to make this attack count. Here's Ryan Bertrand. Don't know what to do with it. We really need to get an effort on goal. Bertrand's been brought down. We've got another opportunity. I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to try and get an effort in on goal. Whether it goes in or not, I don't know. But I just want to see if we can find a target. Higuain, the man to take it. That's poor. That's very poor. Game's ended all square. Cannot believe we've not managed to pick up victory in that game, to be honest. If we have a look at the match stats... I know it's irrelevant now because the main, main stat that matters 
is of course goals, but 21 shots, 13 on target. Mini had the game of his life. Just not clinical enough. Not clinical enough at all. Understandably, this one, Yannick Bellassi comes and says he's not happy about his role at the club. He hasn't played a lot this year. I'm not really sure why. We've got a lot of, well, we've got a lot of wide players. Villalba has certainly cemented his place on the right-hand side with his performances. So Bellassi, Carrasco, Scherler and Vilna have all kind of been alternating on that left. And Balassi is not happy about that. So two draws from this episode, not the results we were hoping for. And you can see we've lost our spot at the top of the pile. Nine games gone, meaning 29 games remaining. Everton have gone top of the Premier League. They're only two points ahead of us, though. Um, you can see Stoke City are doing well, still in third. They're unbeaten, so got to watch out for them. We have, of course, played them. Down at the bottom, Chelsea have wormed their way out of trouble. Man United and Manchester City and Liverpool start to sort of climb the table as it begins to take a little bit of shape. Um, still a long way to go though. Next up we've got another Champions League game, so hoping to get another win and give ourselves a great chance of progressing to the knockout stage. But that'll be it for this episode guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you have. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time.